what's up bros so you want to filter all the dirt out of your water but you don't want to sacrifice a piece of your clothing to use as a filter so what can you do you can make use of birch bark it's not just useful for fire lighting it's incredibly versatile in that you can craft containers funnels and boxes out of it too so let's get cracking I'm going to score this birch tree from here to here. We don't need this much birch bark for what we're going to do, but it's better to take a bit more than you need, just in case a section of it tears or rips beyond salvage. And if you do this in the spring or summer, you'll probably tap deep enough to make the tree leak its sap. Birch sap is completely safe to drink and considered somewhat of a woodland delicacy. It contains the sugars glucose and fructose, minerals, potassium, magnesium, calcium, amino acids, citrulline, glutamine, asparagine, good stuff. So fix yourself up a little summon summon to drink. Then, the hard part, just peel away all the bark and take your time with it. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. And there you go, that's the hard part over. Now all we need to do is just roll it into a funnel. Roll it inwards from the middle. Wrap it around, bada bing, bada boom, you've got yourself a funnel. Now we just need to keep it from unraveling. Split a stick down the middle to create a peg. Then just slide it over the edges of the funnel, easy peasy. Or, if you want to be really fancy, take a piece of paracord or any synthetic material, your shoelace, polymers, melted shotgun shells, and expose them to the flame of a lighter match or the flames of your fire if you have one going. Melt it down into a gloopy glue and apply it to the bark. Compress it, let it solidify, well played. This is a lot more fail safe than the peg method, so you can drop and abuse the bark filter a lot more if you opt for this method. Now onto the easy easy part. Just gotta find some grass, some charcoal and some sand to use as our free tier water filler. Having a layer of grass at the base of the funnel allows you to add more finer water filters on top of it, like the sand and the charcoal. So poke it all downwards into the base of the filter. Sand, that's easy. Just scrape a bit off the bottom of a creek bed. Charcoal. Any remains from previous fires can be crushed into dust, powder and granules and it serves as a fine filter. And it also does a good job of absorbing various toxic compounds which may be lingering in the water. Could be from industrial waste or maybe some toxic plant has leached its toxic compounds into the water source. That's bad times. Want to get rid of that. So there you go. A nice little water filter made out of natty materials. It will do a great job of filtering out all the wood, dirt, plant matter, fecal matter and all manner of nasties that linger in many water sources. If you really want to go next level, then make a stand for it. Pierce a few parallel holes through it, pop a stick through the holes, rest it on some wireframe sticks. Genius. So there you go. A nice little water filter. Easily done. Peace bros.